Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. Um, I'm here to do your next reading for January. This is for the end of January. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I have decided to just go with my gut, okay? And you guys are just like screaming out to me. So, looks like you're up next. I can't ignore it, even though sometimes I try. So we're going to go ahead and get one of these. We're going to get one of these, and then we're going to use this deck. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Keep in mind, this reading may not be for you. It may or may not be. It is what it is, right? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Hope. Hope. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. There is still hope. There is still hope. There is. It's about following your intuition. Just like I just did. That's what I've decided to go with. My my intuition. There is there is still hope. Okay, and something. There's still hope. Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know for the end of January? Now, this could resonate right now. Anywhere from today right to the end, Pisces. And you guys are my fourth one. My fourth one for this segment. That's kind of odd. Fourth. Interesting. Now there's angels wings right here. And fours are an angel number. It is it's the number of angels. Like seven is the number from heaven. Four is an angel number. So it looks like the, the angels are around you. They're protecting you. They're giving you messages. That song, Angel. You know, if you think about that song, Angel, from, I think it's Shaggy, that just popped into my head. Interesting. There's still hope to be happy again in something. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. You need to follow the path to happiness. Now, green is the color of love. Follow the path that is going to lead you to love. Follow your heart. Green is the, the heart chakra it's the heart follow your heart Pisces follow your heart right to that happiness I have to show you what's on the bottom I have to I can't just not Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Are you? Something to consider, isn't it? What about that right there? Pisces. What do we got for Pisces for the end of January? Oh, somebody's not telling the truth. Hiding the truth. Not communication. Not communicating. Now, before I started your reading, 
I thought there's communication issues <laughs> right at the before I even hit record because my throat got really um, dry like I couldn't even speak for a minute right before I started your reading I was like what the fuck excuse my language you know there's communication issues and this is definitely a signifier of that the ace of swords reverse is communication issue there may not be any communication at this point somebody can't communicate for some reason forgiveness is needed three of swords reverse forgiveness is needed now this is also about letting go of past hurts through forgiveness I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Hmm. Strength. Ooh. Ah. So something isn't over yet. It's not, okay? It hasn't ended yet. Something hasn't ended. There, there's a, Somebody is holding on to something. The end has not, it's not, it hasn't ended yet. And somebody needs to find courage and willpower and strength to forgive or let go of the past hurts and communicate somebody needs to find the strength but pride is an issue because this is a pride card pride is an issue but somebody is holding on holding on to something we're going to get clarification this is hard work Put in effort. Somebody needs to put in effort to forgive and let go of the past hurts. But this is you stuck, stuck in limbo, in suspension. You're allowing yourself to be stuck there, right? You don't have to be stuck there, but you're, you're choosing to be stuck there. So you're, you're like uh, resisting change. If you were to look this card up, somebody does not want to face the struggle, does not want to make some sort of change that they need to make. Stubborn, stubborn, very stubborn. Look at the look on his face. <laughs> But I think your 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 stubbornness gonna get you in trouble. That snake is just a moving on down, right? Mm. Now this is this is a uh, fast communication. This is this is get your ass in gear, get moving. This is have no fear. Have no fear. This is another card of courage right next to the strength. You got to have courage to communicate. That's the sword of communication. Communicate the truth quickly. This is fast movement. Somebody needs to communicate quickly their truth and have the courage to do so. Afraid to take a risk. Somebody is afraid to take a risk, you know, afraid to take that leap, afraid to start over. Stuck. Oh, geez. So this is truth again. In many decks, this is labeled, labeled truth. It is. This is also forgiveness. If you think about Judgment Day, you go up there, you go up there, you're dead, whatever, you're talking to God, He's forgiven you. It's about forgiveness. It's about releasing. You release all the sins, whatever, and you are forgiven. But before you're forgiven, you confess. <laughs> okay. And you tell the truth. This is an awakening, epiphany, a wake-up call. So you may go be going, getting some sort of epiphany, some sort of wake-up call. 
and this could be a message even from the other side. This can often signify somebody from the other side coming to you and giving a mess, giving you a message that wakes you up about the truth. That has kept you stuck and in pain and unable to forgive something. I don't know what. I don't know what this person did. I really don't. Anyhow, um, judgment call. And this is a card of reconciliation as well, so I don't know what the hell this is. Afraid to take a risk. Afraid to start over. Now there's a lack of a lack of balance, lack of lack of harmony, lack of change. I don't want to change. Afraid of change. I mean, upright. This is the card of change. It really is. And this is afraid of change. And this is change is needed. The time is now to make a change, to evolve, to you know, make some compromises in your life. I will not compromise. I will not change a thing. I will not evolve. Therefore, I will continue to bring um, disharmony and lack of peace and lack of serenity and ups and downs into my life. Frustrations. Somebody is refusing to evolve and change as they need to. And it's right underneath. They're mirroring each other. Refusing to change. You both, this, this is a huge message here. A change is needed. You're going to have to face a struggle. Unless you want to keep being on this roller coaster. Now, that roller coaster has been a big issue for a long time. Like, what? I don't know. Last time, I, the first time I heard about this roller coaster was what? When I went and got my first tarot reading. Not my first, but anyway, there's a roller coaster right here. This is a roller coaster ride that you keep getting on. You keep getting on the fucking ride. It's reckless behavior. The fool reversed is reckless behavior. Addictions, the temperance, there's addictions here that are allowed. This is escapism, the temperance reverse, that are allowing you to escape the truth. Masking the truth. Somebody is masking the truth with addictions or something that. It's not healthy. This isn't healthy. It looks like this month, let me make sure this is zoomed in. Somebody is receiving some sort of epiphany or wake up call to find the strength and the courage to communicate and forgive. Forgiveness is on, the, on each side of you. Okay, this is forgiveness, and this is forgiveness, and this and this is you. This is right. This is you. This is represents you. Somebody is go is going to be receiving some sort of epiphany or wake up call from somebody or from something or whatever. To find the strength and the courage to communicate the truth and forgive something. I don't know what this is. To put in effort. This is hard work. Pays off. Put in effort. Take a risk. But there's fear. There is fear here. you got to find the strength to face your fear. You can't escape it forever. You can't. You can't. Time to may take that step. To you can't play games. It's, you can't keep juggling. It's time for a change. 
It's time to make that decision and stop cheating yourself of happiness. You have to find strength to follow your heart towards happiness. You have to have hope in new beginnings. It's time for a change. This is this card of it is a card of change. And the choice you you are going to be presented with a choice, okay? And you are always are every day of your life, right? You're presented with a choice. You choose, like I said, you, I said that way back. You're choosing to be stuck. You're choosing to be in limbo. You're choosing to get on that roller coaster. You are. There's an opportunity for happiness. But you're cheating yourself of this happiness because you're not making a, a solid decision. You're play, you're juggling. You're going back and forth. Forth. You don't know what the hell you're you're doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, fear of commitment. Now the hangman is the master of non-attachment. Doesn't really like attachment for some reason. Afraid of commitment. Real commitment, marriage, reversed. Maybe somebody likes it. And this is the, this is cheating. This is a game. Maybe somebody likes the cheating game. I think that right now. You are in the process of thinking about where you want to invest in the future. And I think that you're about to make some sort of choice. In regards to what you really want. It's like you don't know if this is even, where you're at right now is even going to grow anymore. It's like, I'm not sure I can stay where I'm at because I don't think there's going to be any more growth here. And I think you're about to pick. You're about to pick a, a new, a new option, a new A new place, a new place to go. Because you expected more. I think wherever you're at, you expected more. You're like, this isn't enough. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't it. And maybe your expectations are too high. Because there's quite a bit there. Maybe you had your expectations set too high. Looks like you guys are about to find that strength because this is a card of strength and this is too and they're both upright. You guys are about to find your strength to, to go in the direction of your heart. Somebody is finding the strength to follow their heart and face the opposition. This is opposition. Looks like you guys are about to, like I said, travel to a new destination. You're gonna, you're about to replace that fear. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like the fear that you have had is about to be replaced with courage and mental strength. And you're going through some sort of transformation that is heading you in the right direction. You're headed in a new direction. I see that you are. So it feels like, you know, you may want some sort of reunion or somebody wants a reunion with you, but it, it may feel like 
you know, there's a, this is dashed expectations as well. So I feel like you, you may, it may be, I don't know what this is. This Empress reverse, she's, she's like cold as hell. She's, she's not happy. She's not a happy camper in reverse. She has multiple options and she absolutely will not involve herself in any third party situations. Hell no. So I feel like you are dealing with somebody who, you know, has multiple options. She's probably bitter. The Empress Reverse is, a, is bitter, okay? And you may want to, this is communication, you may want to travel towards this person or communicate with this person or maybe even reunite with this person, but maybe the friendship has been lost. It's like there's no... wish fulfillment here you know it looks like there's a lack of abundance there's no more it's like the door has already been closed ego got in the way ego and pride this is a card of ego and pride got in the way so I feel like at the end of the month you guys are headed in a new direction you may be traveling to a new destination You're definitely taking the lead. You're in the driver's seat. And you are finding the strength to follow your heart. You are. After not communicating, after not following your heart, it looks like there is still some hope, though. I gotta clarify. There's hope. Hope for what? What is there hope for? Hope for what? There's still hope for happiness. There is. This is even in reverse. This is still happiness. It is. This is this is the most this is the happiest card in the deck. So even in reverse, there's happiness. There's light. There's still hope that things could grow. There's still hope that things could heal. There's still hope that things could be happy again. There's still hope for renewal. But the teamwork is needed. Teamwork is needed. You've got to work as a team. You're going to have to make some compromises and communication is needed. This person doesn't feel appreciated. This is lack of appreciation. So whoever you're, if either this is you, if you are the woman, or this is the woman you're dealing with, she doesn't feel appreciated. She doesn't want to be involved in any third-party situations. Like I said, you know, three, 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 three. Okay. Whoever this person is, whoever you're dealing with, and you know who it is that makes you happy, that's the answer to your prayers. Because threes are the answers to your prayers. Your prayers. This is the answer to your prayers. You know who this person is. But there's lack of communication. There's lack of compromise. There's lack of teamwork. And the only way that this will work, because we were clarifying hope, is if somebody lets go of their pride and their ego. And communicates and works as a team. There is still hope for happiness and wish fulfillment, a blessing. This is, this is God given. This is a gift from God. There's a hope for wish fulfillment. This is the card of hope. It really is. There's hope. This is the ultimate healing.
This is a dream come true. This is the ultimate wish fulfillment. There's hope that your wishes will be fulfilled. But you're going to have to get unstuck from the mindset that you're in. And, you, and for those of you that don't want to hear this, feel free to look up this card. Because somebody is stuck in the wrong mindset. And that ain't no joke. You have to change your outlook for things to be successful. Period. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. No, I don't, ha I don't have to change anything. In this position, I don't have to change anything. Okay. Go ahead. Don't. Then you won't find happiness. Wherever it is. That Ten of Cups reverse is who oh here it is. No happiness. If and it was it was like this. If you continue with the same mindset that you've been in, you do not find happily ever after. You do not find happiness. Your mindset has to change at this time. And if you don't want to hear it, you want to live in fantasy land and try to escape reality, then hey, that's your prerogative. I, myself, want happiness and love. And that's what I have. You have an opportunity for happiness and love and wish fulfillment if you change your outlook and communicate. Communicate. And be open to seeing both sides of a situation in any relationship that you are in. So at the end of January, it's a time of hope. It really is. It's a time of following your dreams. Finding the courage and the strength to put your pride and your ego away and follow your heart. Is there new love coming in? I don't see that. I don't see that. There's no Ace of Cups, there's no Two of Cups, there's no Lover's Card. I don't see that. It's you. It's about you. Following your heart to happiness. Making a change. That's what I see. There could be even a relationship that's ending. This is an ending relationship. Or has ended. Whatever that is, I don't know. There's been no communication, and communication is needed, like, pronto. And that's what I have, Pisces, for the end of January. It's like, you have an opportunity for happiness, and there's still hope in a situation. You know what the situation is. I don't. There's still hope. Whatever it is. There's some bitterness here, though, with that Empress Reverse. She's bitter. And she's experienced. So when you're dealing with an Empress that is bitter and she's experienced, well, hell has, has no fury like a woman scorned. That's who you're dealing with. It ain't over till she says it's over. Not when you're dealing with this one. She's experienced, and she knows her worth. She's pissed. For some of you, this does have to do with the record. This is the card of reconciliation. It is. There's, there is hope for a reconciliation, even with this bitter individual.
I mean, there's hope for reconciliation. I don't know. I really don't. But you're you're in charge. You got the power in your hand. The power is in your hands, Pisces. Somebody is holding on to something they can't let go of because that's what their wish fulfillment is. I don't know who this is for. But there's an opportunity for happiness here for somebody. I don't know who. Probably all of you. There is an opportunity for happiness. There is. But you got to open your heart. This is the heart chakra. It really is. It's about opening your heart. So anyway, I feel like you guys are about to find the courage and the confidence and the strength and the willpower to put yourself in the driver's seat and head in some direction, you know, in a new direction towards happiness. So you're headed towards happiness. No matter what, Pisces, you're headed towards happiness. And you're going to receive some sort of epiphany, some sort of truth that is going to wake you up. Good luck.